Club Brayman members, welcome to an edition of Club Brayman Spotlight. We're on location at the Virginia Phillip Wine, Spirits, and Academy here in Palm Beach. I'm with Virginia Phillip, and Virginia, we're socially distanced, CDC guidelines, okay to take the uh, mask off? I think we better, All right. especially if we're going <laughs> to I think the something. audio will be a lot better. Yes, especially if you want to taste wine. Oh, there's wine tasting involved. you got to do something. You got my attention. So, Virginia, you are, of what I understand, something like the top 15 in the world or country, top 11, 12 here as a sommelier. Tell me about that. Uh, so there's a designation called Master Sommelier. Mm -hmm. I was the 10th woman in the United States to pass in 2002 and the 11th woman in the world. Wow. So today we're 250-ish master sommeliers and uh, 25 of us are women. First of all, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank Second you of all, much. I'm sitting with royalty here, okay? Oh. We are a superstar. But what does it take? 250, did you say in the world or in the country? World. My gosh. Yeah, in the world. What makes it such an exclusive club? Um, I wouldn't call it a club per se, but certainly a, a very determined group of individuals who appreciate wine and spirits mm -hmm. and who have a desire to just be at the epitome top of their field in regards to hospitality and knowledge and tasting and being, you know, sharing their knowledge with customers as well as mentoring and sponsoring others. So what did it take? What did you have to do to get to this designation? Yeah, it was a lot of suffering, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tasting and suffering, but uh, you really have to put your life on hold for uh -huh. however long it takes you to get through the program. It took me four and a half years, so no movies, you know, very little outdoor or outside entertainment, a ski trip here and there. Uh, and then once you pass, your, your world kind of opens up again because the time commitment is quite extensive. And at, at the moment, it still requires a lot of floor work. Meaning, so time commitment doing what? I understand there's tasting. Yeah. Tough job, but somebody's got yeah, to do it. To but do what it. about the rest of it? The studying you mentioned? Yeah, so the Master Sommelier Diploma is, encompasses four different parts. Mm -hmm. uh, if we just talk about the last two parts, there are three parts to each, each set. Okay. And there's a theory paper. There is a blind tasting of six wines, uh -huh. which is done in 25 minutes to identify great varietal country, region, appellation, quality level, and as well as a practical tasting, which can at times also include a blind tasting, whether it's spirits or a fortified wine. Once you pass level three, you get invited to level four, mm -hmm. and level four is pretty much a repetition of that. The differences would be that the accuracy is considered to be at a much higher level and you can pass a part and come back and try the other two, but you must complete all three parts in three years. And what is the organization that does the certification? Yeah, it's called the Court of Master Sommeliers. It mm -hmm. started in London in the early 70s and moved into the United States in the early 80s. And are you kind of like to say, if I put a bottle of wine here, you can actually taste it and tell me what country it comes from? Uh, it depends on how well practiced I am, but in the past, yes, I could probably get very, very close. Wow, that yes. is incredible. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. Great. So tell me what you do here at the Academy. Yeah, so we are a retail store. We've been in business on the West Palm Beach side. We started mm -hmm. about 11 years ago, 10 years ago, and okay. we moved to Palm Beach in 28, 2017 at the end. So we've been in this location almost, uh, we're, going, we're going to be going into our third year. Now I noticed that you've got, uh, and we'll have the uh, tables on the screen for you, but I noticed that you have, is this a classroom that I'm sitting in? Yes, this is a, cl a classroom that's, um, fortunately we haven't really been able to use it since COVID, but this mm -hmm. is a classroom that we can accommodate up to, believe it or not, 36 people. So we host tastings in here, whether it's a brand ambassador, it could be a winemaker, it could be a spirits class. For example, this Thursday we have Chincora, which is the tequila behind you. So we have a tequila tasting. Okay. So a variety of different topics I teach as well. My Very partner, cool. Veronica Litton, teaches. So it's fun. I do know that when you Club Raymond members were here and had that wine tasting, we got fabulous feedback. So it's definitely something Great. that a lot of people that enjoy wine would want to do. And we're a fully operational uh, retail store. So we're open from... Uh, Monday through Saturday mm -hmm. from 10 till 7 in season we stay open till 8 and every Sunday 11 to 5. Now I see wine cases coming and going so tell us about some of the wines that you have here. On so they it's we do have a set of wines uh -huh. so to speak of typical things that you would find here all the time but we also bring in new product all the time and we're always looking for something mm -hmm. whether it's a spirit whether it's a white or red it could be from Spain it could be from Italy it could be from New Zealand so there's a lot of great new 
goodies to look for. Do you personally know winemakers around the country, around the world? I do. So yes. do they every now and then call you and say, Virginia, I've got? Yes, they call. They <laughs> offer to host a class or a uh -huh. Zoom tasting with us. So we've had Zoom classes where we have a winemaker from Spain mm -hmm. who's doing a class with us. So it's, you know, they're six hours ahead of us. We're six o'clock here. They're at midnight. Uh -huh. We've done that also with a person from New Zealand, a winemaker from New Zealand, as well as from Italy. And, and they and explain the wine they and how the all process. The, wines, the history of the region, the history of their winery, the his, uh, anything about technical data about the wine, wine making, wine crafting, the people. And we actually have done a cooking class with my cousin who has a cooking school in the south of Spain. We did that via Zoom as wow, well. Wow, that's yeah, great. That's fun. Do you have a favorite wine? No. It'd be <laughs> like choosing a child or a car, right? <laughs> Speaking of a car, I understand that you still drive a manual transmission Porsche. Yes. Tell me about it. So I started driving uh, Porsches when I was 24. Mm -hmm. I started with a 944 Turbo, uh -huh. always manuals, and worked my way up to a purchase from all of you, a Cayman S with uh -huh. the whole aero kit, nice. then a 4S, four, uh, and now it's just a 4 convertible. So always manuals though. Very young in your, how did you get hooked on Porsche at 24? Um, my dad was a car guy, so okay. he loved cars. Mostly domestic though, really he was more of a Corvette Cadillac. He has an old 1950 Mercury Lincoln, which he really did up beautifully. And so we were always into cars, but for me, I just loved them. The shape, cars. the sound, uh, Porsches in particular. So Porsches and wine. Porsches and wine. And I understand you got some wines that you're going to showcase today? Yes. Right. We do. Well, let's do that. Okay. okay. So right. you'll be seeing us showcasing some wines next. Okay. So we're going to just taste a little wine here. One of our favorites that we generally carry here in the shop. And you're going to explain to me the proper way to smell it and taste it yeah, and all that. Okay. Great. So, Okay, so you always want to hold the glass by the stem. Okay. And there's a couple reasons why we want to do that. First is obviously fingerprints on the glass. We want to keep those away. Mm -hmm. The second would be the temperature. All right. We don't want to affect the temperature. And the third very important reason is, is for those of you who cook, if you've ever cut an onion or a piece of garlic mm -hmm. in the morning, mm -hmm. how long does that stay on a your fingertips? Time. A really long time. Right. So we try and keep our fingers away from the bowl. All right. And then we want to swirl it, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. And what this does is it... Um, elevates the esters and the congeners to come up mm -hmm. out of the bowl and into the nose. And we just smell for mm. like, yes, red fruit. That is good. Tell fruits. us what we're smelling and tasting. So here. this has a lot of blackberry, black cherry, a little bit of walnut tones. Uh, there's a hint of earth, but you also get a little bit of that oaks, the little vanilla cinnamon smell. Not overdone, but just judiciously Very used. Light. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe just a little sagebrush. And where's this wine from? This wine is from Bulgari, from Italy. So it's on mm. the beautiful coastline. And Ornelia is going to be one of the most famous super Tuscans in the world. This is their second tier. They have three. They have La Volte, La Serra Nueva, and then, of course, Ornelia. Okay. And so it's a fantastic winery that's been around I love Italian wine. three decades. Let's go ahead and taste it. Oh. Delicious. Smooth, smooth, elegant, tasty, tasty, robust, robust, and we want to just make sure it's not overpowering. In other words, it's very well balanced, as you can tell. We just opened it; we didn't decant it. Mm -hmm. But if we decanted it, that would give it some more aeration. This would have been perfect for my, my barbecued ribeye on Sunday. Barbecue ribeye, wild boar, <laughs> pasta bolognese, mm. charcuterie board. May I taste again? Absolutely. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. And congratulations on Thank this you. fabulous. Thank We're you. sitting in the middle of the wine. It's really not a cellar, but this is where you display your wines. This is one of three rooms we display our wines. And then, of course, our spirit section is in the front of the store. So, so. I see different regions. Can you tell us a little bit about so the this, variety? Yeah, this is the European room. So just to sort of understand, our wines start at $10. In fact, this rack over here is our $10 rack. Uh, we picked wines that we feel are quite frankly, deserve to be on our $10 rack. Mm -hmm. So that's our starting point. And, and everything in here is good. Everything so in here is... So it's not like going to buy a $10 wine at Publix or something. Exactly. Right. right. Our, my team picks it. And Ver uh, Veronica Linton's my partner. Gladys is here, Philippe and Amanda. We're a small team. And do you ever get like calls from a winery? Listen, Virginia, I, I got to clear out five cases. Great deal. I'm sending it for your customers. Yes, we <laughs> do. <laughs> I figured. We do. We do. I figured. We have very good relationships with 
the people we work with. Now, Virginia Phillip is the uh, sommelier that picks all of our wines for our Club Raymond events. So yes. you have been doing this for us for many years. I have. We have totally enjoyed it, and we thank you. We have to so thank do our you. members. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. It's been a great partnership. As a small business owner, we really, truly appreciate your yeah. Support. It's going to have been a great partnership. We're going to take a tour around here to see all the different countries, all the different regions, the different types of wine that you have, and tell us exactly where you're located and your hours of operation. Yes, so we are here in the Royal Point Santa Plaza. Mm -hmm. We're Suite 320, so we're just as you come off the bridge on the right hand side. Okay. We're here Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 7, 8 p.m. during season, and on Sundays from 11 till 5. So, Club Raymond members, when you come to Virginia Phillip, Wine Spirits and Academy, as for Virginia herself. Mention that you're a Club Bremen member, you get 10% off, and make sure that you come check out this selection. From $10 and up, fabulous wines, on location with Virginia Phillip. I'm Danny Bayard for Club Bremen Spotlight. Virginia, thank you so thank much. You. And cheers. Cheers, cheers everyone. <laughs>